In a previous video, you saw how I supplied oxygen to this floating raft over here. So today I'm gonna upgrade it using some air stones. I can post the Amazon link where I got these. So I'll change up the whole system underneath. I'll post a link as well to how I set that one up, but I'll upgrade it using this and a bigger pump. And then also some uh, weighted air tubing is what I'll use because if you use the normal tubing that I have, like say right here, this tubing floats when in the water, so I'll use some weighted air tubing and put that underneath and I'll show you how that is. So here are the things I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna be using these two inch air stones. So I had them soak in water, it says 30 minutes. I had them soaking in here for, you can say like four days, because I wasn't ready to use them yet. So I was waiting to get these things. This is what I'll use to connect them on. So the nice, the reason I got these air stones actually is because they have two different ways to attach it. They have the small one and then the larger one. This is the, I think, 3 six something. And this is this is 3 eighths, I know. This may be 1 16th or whatever it is. Because the air tubing is 3 eighths. So I needed something bigger. So that's why I got those ones because most of them only have that small little opening or they would be more expensive if I want to get the other one. So that's what I'm using. So I'll show you how I do this. I got this weighted air tubing to use for my aquaponic system. So this way it will stay at the bottom. It doesn't float whereas you have this one that floats. So this will have it stay at the bottom of my DWC grow beds or my floating raft grow beds. It's much thicker you can see. Heavy duty. So I'll use that at the bottom and show you. So I'm basically connecting it like this. You can see I have a tube going from my air pump over here onto these T's I have. And then I have this and the black weighted tubing. The only problem with this, it kind of stays in a hoop, so I try to bend it to go the other way, but it doesn't really work that well. But it's nice because it doesn't float, so. See, I have these, which go into here. And I have this, which goes here. And I take the air stone and stick it like so. Here you can see how it looks. So I have this in both of the grow beds, this one and then as well as this one. So it's basically the pipe going at the bottom. I have seven of these air stones in here. And then the pump I'm using is now this bigger one instead of, instead of the smaller one I had before. That's the one I'm using, I got it on Craigslist. So the only thing with this setup is this air pump is pretty strong and this tubing doesn't allow the most amount of air to pass through it. So I might change it again and put bigger tubing, like whatever this is, going along the bottom and do some different T setup because the air is coming out of this back part of the pump instead, but still makes a lot of air circulation, but we'll see. How I change that up. That is also because of this setup I did right here. It has too much of whatever you call it. It goes too soon into a turn. So if I had it, say, a different thing here, like a V, a V splitter that went and made it more at an angle, or had this tube pass more, or go this tube go a little longer and then have this divert, then it might work better as well because this setup right here makes the air push and then doesn't allow it to flow properly so that is just how that looks here you can see it working so those are the seven air stones going along this bottom of the grow bed this is much better than it was before but I am thinking of changing it so there's a lot more circulation So this video I just showed you the second way I did my aeration for my floating raft grow bed. So these are 12 foot grow beds so I have to do it in a way that supplies oxygen to the whole thing. So this time I'm using the one pump you can see and the air stones at the bottom. 
So this is actually working much better than the way before, so I'm happy with that. But I might change it up to make it a little more oxygenation, but we'll see how that goes. Check out my watercress. I don't have any fish in here, but they're still growing. Some of my other plants are turning yellow, but that's crazy. They're even flowering. Look at that. And the roots on this thing is insane. I'll probably, let's see if I can get this out. Give me a sick. Look at that. That is crazy. Thank you for watching.